The first edition of the Alpha European Asset Management Conference took place in Luxembourg on March 21st and 22nd. The 600 participants from 25 countries very quickly recognized the event as the place to be for international asset managers who wish to stay abreast of the most pressing issues currently facing the industry. Alfie listened to its members and with the Alfie Spring Conference changed the look and content of the conference to create the Alfie European Asset Management Conference. Over two days we looked at asset management, asset managers and the end investor. We hoped you enjoyed the change of concept and the event. So what is driving the asset management world today? The CEOs of international asset management companies discussed how the future development of this sector will depend on its ability to adapt to a rapidly changing environment and what the key trends are. Well, I think it's really all about the clients. It's all about how we're able to transform clients' needs to what we do in our daily work. That's really what it's all about. If we focus on that, uh, we normally get it right. I think there are obviously many trends, but I think one of the key ones, particularly in the US, is who's investing and who's not. Uh, and the people that are investing more are state pension funds because of the deficits they're facing and the superior returns that we've generated in the private equity space. And the people who are investing less are corporate pension plans as those funds become closed uh, to new entrants and they're moved into, into being defined uh, defined contribution schemes having been defined benefit schemes. So you have a change in the, well not a change, you have a, the composition of the investor base in terms of their percentages are changing. Corporate pension funds are investing less and state pension funds are investing more. One of the topics discussed at the conference was Brexit, which today presents a problem for UK-based managers who passport their products across the EU27. The CSSF, the financial services regulator in Luxembourg, said it expects firms to have substance in the country in order to keep their passporting rights. The um, EU legal and regulatory framework is actually pretty clear on the substance requirements and on the fact that empty letterbox entities are unacceptable. Um, we should apply those rules and I can tell you that we as the Luxembourg Supervisory Authority are very mindful that entities established, authorised and supervised in Luxembourg are at all times fully compliant with those uh, rules in the field of substance. Nonetheless, some believe certain jurisdictions are having a regulatory race to the bottom to attract market share. And this has been slapped down by the European Securities and Markets Authority, ESMA. One of the issues we're looking at uh, in the asset management uh, sector, and um, it is not specifically only for the asset management sector relevant, is the, the Brexit and how it will affect uh, European securities markets. Uh, we know that at this stage uh, UK market participants are considering uh, to locate some of their activity in the EU27 and the EU uh, financial centres are trying to accommodate that process, which is understandable. But it's very important that uh, when they try to attract business from the UK is that they don't do it on uh, supervisory standards or on regulatory standards. We should avoid that the uh, development where UK market participants are looking for a new location is that it happens or results in a round of regulatory competition. Nearly all stakeholders in asset management are trying to identify ways in which to appeal to millennials who may have a sophisticated grasp of technological innovation, but the industry is mindful that many young people lack such competency around financial literacy. The absence of financial knowledge is indicative in millennials' return expectations. Schroeder's study, presented at the conference, highlighted millennials typically had return expectations of 10.2% per annum, compared to 8.4% for investors aged over 36. Given the current low interest rates, such return prospects look unrealistic. The European Asset Management Conference is also the place to be to stand out from the crowd and enhance companies' brand recognition by showcasing their business, skills, products and services. For us it's very important to be here. Firstly, because we can present to all our clients our novelties. Having a stand is actually also the contribution we do to the Alfi as such and of course participating here for our colleagues, for our clients, for our prospects is very important for Royal Bank of Canada. Kanaip has been participating in this conference for many years and uh, as an organisation, um, homegrown in Luxembourg, 
developed in Luxembourg and expanding internationally, ALF has always been very helpful towards us as a company to develop internationally as well as locally. And this conference helps us present ourselves, our organisation to a broad range of people, both domestic and international. Flexibility is key to the long-term success of any industry. The Luxembourg funds industry recognises clients are changing the way they allocate, whether that is through new technology or a more principled approach to investing. We hope to see you in March 2018 for the next edition 